Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. Alright guys, welcome back, and last episode we defeated a demon, a cold red demon to be exact, plus a regular one that was guarding our new witch friend, and it is time for us to head to a village. Because we gotta wait, because the witch is deciphering some text for us. And we need to head this way. She's deciphering some text for us, so we need to basically go, basically go, uh, rest at the, uh, village. Until so she's done. That's Haria village. There to the end! One and all! We will do that, but first, I'm gonna pick up things along the way, like plants to eat. Uh, I don't think there's much else. How about a fight? Move it or die. Damn it, bitch got me. Another victory. All right, very good. All right, let us head finally into the village, and we'll go ahead and save our game right here, real quick. Macula Beach. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's see what happens when we enter the town. Rumors in Harrier Village. From what we heard in Isalt, demons are attacking villages, and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Despite that, no, because of that, I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. You're awfully direct. <laughs> Alright, so what are we... Oh, we can't leave. When it's red like that, that means we can't leave. So something bad may happen here. So what's, what, what are we seeing over there? There's somebody over there. I'm gonna go ahead and quick save right here. Let's find out what happens as we delve further down. Ah, I can't get those. Can I get them this way? Yeah. It's quiet here. Oh, all right. Expecting something to happen, but we got one of these dudes. Well, what exactly did you expect? All right, let's dismantle, dismantle that. I think we did this already, so I don't think there's much we need to dismantle. Although, didn't we get a whole bunch of boots and stuff? There's a extra one of that, extra one of that. Alright, so that was a bunch of stuff I f didn't get rid of. Oh my god, we got... <laughs> we had a lot of the... Holy shit! Look at that, that's a lot of those. I guess I hadn't done this in a while. I probably should have just done this outside of uh, recording the video, but we're kind of stuck doing it now. And I haven't taken the time to see which one of these, like some of these I'm, I'm pretty sure we could just get rid of completely, but... Uh, you know, 
that's just too much to ask of me. Oh my god, forget it. We're not, we're not gonna do all this, but we're gonna enhance stuff if we can. We are gonna do that. Because we are interested in making our characters better. Are we not? Yes. Yes, we are. Even though we might be switching... Uh, we might be switching some of this stuff out. But yeah, we do want to make our characters better. So... And this is pretty much the way to do it. I tell you what though, sometimes these menus can be kind of confusing. Alright, there we go. Finally. Alright, enough of that, enough of that. Alright, let's get out of here. I'll try to do the rest of that on my own time instead of taking up taking up your time. Alright. Let's look uh, around real quick. Take a sweep. Let's see what we can find now. There's looks like there's people over here that want to talk to us. Or not. Where? You're back here, aren't you? Where the hell? Is it underneath? Maybe we should ask Abby to help search. If they can start sniffing around my mom, it could end up making matters worse. What? Wait a minute. Why am I seeing a little exclamation point there, but there's nothing there. Is it underneath? It's underneath, isn't it? Wait, there's a plant down there. That I want. Is this a puzzle? Oh, I can't deal with this anymore. What's the matter? Oh, Everyone's is. sick of all these fruit flavored gels, right? Um. So, I made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on this island. It gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste. But people complain that they weren't avant garde enough. Ugh, chocolate flavored gels, how prosaic. Bah! This got me fuming! So I caught some maiden bonita fish you find around here, ground them up, and made some gels with them. You put fish into chocolate gels? Well, people yeah. do braise meat with chocolate. Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. Exactly! It was the discovery of a century! The bonito flakes crunchiness and the gels gumminess made for an exquisitely bad combo, which made it interesting. So if you made an innovative new type of gel, why are you so angry? That's exactly my problem! I outdid myself! Now I need to make my gels world debut as amazing as they are! So I thought up the ultimate plan. And that is? I'll put my Chocanito gels in toilets all over the world. What? I'll call it the Great Chocanito Toilet Gambit. No one will go to the bathroom without finding my gels. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, genius, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but I think it's funny too. Right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. Who's a kid? But all the adults in my village called it silly and lowbrow. They forbade me from selling my Choco Needle gels at all. Isn't that just horrible? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Things used to be so much better. Mom would make me dinner, and all I had to do was goo 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 ga, and everyone would smile and praise me. I don't want to become the kind of grown up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. Okay, that was odd, but I want this red sage. Well, let's eat that and be done. So, that was a quite a weird conversation. Alright, what else have we got to do in here? Um, looked like that was it. There is a save point over here. Inside the... T oh, there is, there is something. There is something interesting. Not that. Oh, I thought it was a cat's box. Crap. I thought it was a cat's box. I was getting quite happy. I mean, we passed by some cat's boxes back on the beach. It may behoove me to go back and look for them. Um, oh, we're, we're going to stay at the end. Find that in and begin deciphering. That's what we're doing here. But before we do that, I want to just peek around a bit. Poke around, be snoopy and snooty. Let's see what we find. 
Uh, let's look out over the be- Oh! Cat's box! I will open this and find nothing. Watch. Aviator sunglasses. Ooh. Wait, I want to hear the meow. Okay. Uh, aviator sunglasses. Let's check you. Let's try. Where is it? Aviator sunglasses. Ah, uh, kind of cool, but not. I don't like. I actually don't really like hiding their eyes too much because uh, there's been a lot of work in in putting a lot of emotion into their eyes. So, and I've changed the looks of some of the characters a little bit. Um, I wonder if you can change the colors. Yeah, you can't change the colors over there. Uh, let me see something. That I saw. Custom set. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I haven't bought any of the. Uh, there, there are DLC outfits that you can get for this game. I haven't gotten any of them. I just don't feel it's all that. Oh, there's a chest right there. But it's just like in regular. I, oh, I see a plant over there. That I want. Oh, there's stairs right here. There's a plant, and I am going to get it. This plant, not this plant, not that. This plant will now belong to me. Red lavender. I shall eat it and upgrade my attack power. Because that is how things work. All right, moving on. Let's get this show on the road. Let's do it. But we gotta take an extra step before that. I'm gonna poke in somebody's room here and see what they got hiding. Nothing? How dare you have nothing for me? All right. We could use a place to stay. Any rooms open? Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. All right, time to start deciphering this scroll. Let's wait somewhere outside so Grim can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh, -oh. uh that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Teacher, you said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. All right, I'll teach you how to read ancient Averost. Thank you so much, teacher! We'll leave you two alone then. Let us know if anything comes up. Hmm, okay. I guess we've got more waiting to do. We'll talk to uh, these guys over here and see what. Oh, what? I can't get over there this way? And I can't. What the fuck? Alright, I guess I gotta maybe talk to him from a distance. Do you plan on just giving up? Polymedes is Amenoch's temple. The priestess isn't the only one whose job it is to protect that temple. It's the duty of everyone born in this village. Why did the Abbey need Amenoch's temple badly enough to risk causing this much unrest? But how will we protect our village from the demons if the Abbey abandons us? Besides, we won't be able to do business with the people of his salt anymore. Our faith in Amenoch has nothing to do with the demons. When the priestess gets back, I'm going with her to protest. The demon blight changed everything. Will we never be able to return to the way things were? The way things were. Hmm. Okay. Holy shit, there's a lot of star points on the map here. Uh, let us go and find out what this conversation is. Hello. Listen, I don't know what they told you in Isolt, but our village has its own traditions. This village is under the divine protection of the Empyrean Amenoch. For unbroken centuries, a line of his priestesses have guided us. They're tasked with performing the sacred rites of worship. And sometimes, they even deliver us his words and will. And there's still a priestess today? Of course! And her daughter is training to become our next priestess. Although, I sometimes feel they push themselves too hard. Both mother and daughter are giving their all for Haria. But the Abbey doesn't care about any of that. And they stole our temple from us. By force? An exorcist named Teresa came and heard us out. But from the very beginning, she always intended on taking our temple. Her words may have been kind, but that doesn't change the fact that she demanded that we worship her god, Enomenat. 
In all the years we've worshipped Amenoch, not once did we ever try to force others to adopt our beliefs. Why haven't I seen this priest as she's talking about? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there's a little climby spot there. I want to investigate that. I will, well, since we're here, I'll grab that. Some kind of fragment. All right, so what's... What the... I look like, like a little slide for a moment. All right, let's climb up. Let's see. Hey, get up there. Let's see what's up here. Better be something good. Oh. It's just one of these brown chests. Eh. All right, I mean, I guess... Maybe that's probably something really good. But now we gotta... Looks like we gotta have a conversation with all of our uh, teammates. So let's uh, talk to Rokuru. So she digs being called teacher. Well played, Laffy said. She wasn't so fond of ma'am. So I guess he figured he needed an alternative. You can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the language he work. I think our Moloch boy's finally finding himself. So it would seem. <laughs> okay. So, maybe not some deep conversations, just commenting on the current events. All right, Eleanor, let's have it out. What connection do you think there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? Couldn't tell you. Could there have been a demon blight breakout here? This village doesn't look like it's been attacked, but... Whatever it is, if it keeps the Abbey's eyes off us for once, that's good enough for me. You really will use anything and everything toward your own aims, won't you? Yep, and that includes you, as I'm sure you've noticed. Hmm. All right, our expedition. Oh shit, we've got nobody in our party. Our expedition has returned. And get to training. Fortune telling trickery, unyielding. Uh, explore the island again. All right. See, this is why, because, see, look, we're by ourselves. This is why I basically pick, or, you know, just make sure that she is the most powerful character. Or at least uh, put, you know, as much as I can on her. Because it is Velvet's story. Hey, Manning local religions. The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenoch's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough. But straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> uh, I like that. I don't I, call me stupid for laughing at stuff like that, but yeah, I found it funny. Oh, being moody over it here. It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. Hopefully, it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so too. But ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Then how exactly do you read it? I'm not sure about the specifics myself. But from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Thanks, old dead people. You're officially the worst. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, okay. <sighs> oh, ancient Avarost. You have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Er, uh, well, from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says... Sa... Popo... Mucho Sanchon. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying, The parent hates tomatoes. 
The child eggplants. I doubt those have much to do with a nominat. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. Reordering? So like... Sansan? Pocho Pocho? Pocho Musan? Pocho Musan? Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Musan. Hmm, if that's repeated here, then the passage turns into... The Nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then... Hmm, hmm... It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. It's not about Innominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. Hmm. I wonder if they've made any progress yet. Shall we go check on them? Alright, well, let's go ahead and save our game here. And what is it? Might as well do a quick save while we're at it just to double up. And I think we'll go right on in and see what they've got to tell us. Alright, in here. Well, any results? Yes, well, thanks to the boy here. As it turns out, he has quite the knack for languages. <laughs> Only because I've got the best teacher. Careful, honey tongue. You'll give this old girl ideas. Huh? Now, child, I'm sure they're curious about the song we unearthed. Why don't you read it aloud? Yes, teacher. Song? Eight-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Through pulses of earth doth base nature's flow, as he awaits the time of awakening. Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn, in sight of the full crimson moon. The Nameless Empyrean hath one heart. The Nameless Empyrean hath one body. Therians? Essentially, this ancient text you found is an annotated volume of drawings and songs pertaining to Enominot. Annotated? Then hurry up and just tell us what it means. I'm sorry. So far, we've only figured out how to read the song lyrics. All right. I take it we're still in for a good long wait before it's thoroughly decrypted. Likely so. But if we want to find out what the Abbey is up to, we need to know what's in this book, no matter how long it takes. Hmm. What the Abbey's up to, is it? I think we can learn much, even from the lyrics alone. The drawings depict him with eight heads. One of them belongs to his main body, but the other seven are his mouths. Those mouths consume malevolence, sending it along earth pulses back to that main body so he can awaken. The seven monsters fitting that description are called... Therians. Right. Now as for this malevolence, I have no idea what that means. Hmm... What about the second part? I haven't studied much ancient history, but it said this world was created by four Empyreans. Earth, water, wind, and fire. 
But they also call Enominat an Empyrean. Perhaps a war broke out between Enominat and the other Empyreans that resulted in him being sealed away. But if there is someone to connect with this divine power, the Therians will keep spawning. And just like that, Enominat will be revived. If we assume that Shepard Artorius fits that bill, and that he's trying to reawaken Enominat, everything lines up. Which means our job is to find these Therians and cut off Enominat's heads, so to speak. But where do we even start looking for them? Remember, the song states that the Therians and Enominat's body are connected through Earth pulses. If their job is to feed Enominat, the most effective place to position them would be at the Earth Pulse points. Points? The places where the power of Earth Pulses is concentrated. Places with that sigil. Hey, remember the barrier that was keeping this bug in the forest? Now I remember it. <laughs> Wait, are you trying to say that thing's Ethereum? And yet... It would explain why the Abbey was keeping it locked up. And there was that same barrier at the villa, too. Yeah. That's right. Do you suppose that was also a Therian? Does that mean the Therians all come in different forms? Should we go to Logres and check? We've just started deciphering the book. I'd hate to lose time on some fool's errand. I'd rather know at least a little more about what's in it before we make a move. Hmm. Something bothering you, Grim? This line. The one about Therians being forever reborn. Uh, I just felt the same thing as I did in Warg Forest! The needle's pointing in the direction of Amenoch's temple, Palamedes. Do I recall hearing that the Abbey took that over? Temples and ritual sites are often built on places thought to be rich in spiritual energy. Could the temple possibly be an Earth Pulse Point? There's lots of Earth Pulse Points scattered all over the world. If there's only seven Therians, most of them will be empty. It's not like we have any better leads. If there's even a chance, shouldn't we go check it out? Better than sitting around waiting on the book. If nothing else, we'll find out what Lafayette is sensing. Hmm, just a theory, but if you were to kill a Therian... What? Hmm, I guess there's only one way to find out. Never mind. Good luck out there. Interesting. So, we got a whole lot of information there. Um, and seems we now know what to do. Unfortunately, we are running out of time in this episode. So, let's just step outside and see if anything happens. No, nothing. Let's go ahead and save our game after that interlude. And check the map right button hmm let's go to the world map okay we've got a ways to go it looks like event list ah the therian mystery head to palamedes in the island's interior and i really want to do that um, mega elixir but that's way out there where we couldn't get to right i think we couldn't we couldn't find a way there so um, I guess we're heading over. Where is it? Can we try? Is, can we get down here? I guess it's through here that we are meant to go. So let's go ahead and. Oh, something's happening. Who are you? The innkeeper's daughter. I just... 
I happened to overhear you all talking about going to Palamedes and... Did you report us to the Abbey? Report? But you already have an exorcist with you. If you have any business, talk with her then. I... I'm Eleanor Hume, an exorcist with the Abbey. How might I be of service? I want you to look for someone. A mother and her child went to visit the Abbey grounds, but they haven't returned. They've both gone missing? Yes. The mother's name is Mahina. She's a priestess of Amenoch. And her little daughter's name is Kamoana. Hold on. If she's a priestess of Amenoch... Right. Ever since the Abbey booted her out from the temple, she's been regularly going back to make her objections heard. But one day, she never returned home. And now her daughter has disappeared too. I can only assume that she went to go look for her mother. And you believe they're being held at the temple? Oh no, ma'am. I just... I just can't imagine Mahina would abandon her daughter like that. Kamoana is next in line to succeed her, so she's had a strict upbringing, but her mother truly loves her. Please forgive Mahina for her protests. I was just hoping you could use the Abbey's resources to track them down. I will do everything in my power to find them. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Like Kamoana, I grew up with only my mother as family. I can't help but worry for them. Of course. Let's be off. Miss Exorcist. <laughs> Alright, so... Wait, did we go through? Yeah, I guess that puts... Oh, wow. <laughs> puts us way, from, way off from that door. Alright, let's go ahead and do one final save here. And then we'll end things here. And that'll be our, uh, our uh, goal next time. To go find... The, this daughter as we head to Palamides. Alright, so guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.